Hi folks and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host John Morris, the painter of memories and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build your artistic business but also how to build on your artistic talent. It is Friday and you know what that means. We've got some new artistic tips for you. In today's show I want to cover a topic with you that I get asked countless amount of times in any given week and it's how do you build and paint an eye? Now that might sound like a really strange question, but for a lot of people it is actually a source of struggle. Now eyes are usually built up of three or four different elements and I want to cover those in depth and detail with you. So now. beside me here what we've got is a cat pet portrait painting. Now as I said, you know eyes are pretty much built up of the same thing. You've got the white of the eye, you've got the iris and you've got the pupil. But the fourth element is something that a lot of people forget, especially when they're portrait painting and it is the tiny white dot of reflection. Well, I'm going to show you how to put all of those things in in this episode. So come on in. Right, folks, well, what we've got done here already is the colour of the eye. Now, this eye in particular was more of a sort of yellow ochre brown colour. And we've basically just taken a little liner brush and we've worked around that area. Now, in order to get this correct, it's really, really important to understand your eye shapes and what I would recommend in learning eye shapes is have a look on Google okay type in uh, I suppose eye shapes I suppose um, or painting eye shapes Google will come up with a ton of different images that you can actually look through and learn and study all the different eye shapes you've got rugby ball eyes you've got sometimes more of a square eye you've all sorts of different shapes as well and it's important to know which one you're painting for your specific portrait Okay, so we've got the colour of the eye all painted in. Now what we're going to come in with, with our little liner brush, is a little bit of black paint. Now, in the photo, the eyes were basically no more than slits. So we're just going to come in with a little bit of black paint. Small little shape just in there. And small shape over here. Okay, and this is painting in the black of the eye. So this is stage number two. Trying to do it really carefully, there we go. That's one of the, the funny things. I prefer cats that have the big round eyes as opposed to these little slits. It's, uh, it's a little bit more uncomfortable. But, so there you go. So this stage number this two. this cat doesn't have any white around the surface of the eye, so I'm actually gonna put a little bit in just for portrait painting. Uh, sometimes it helps break things up a little bit more and it helps to be a little bit more realistic. I often find just adding a little bit of white just around the corners. Okay, then we're going to come in with a little bit more white paint and it's a tiny little white dot that we're just going to place at the corners of the eyes. So we're just going to come in a little bit of white paint. Here we go. Just touch it in there. And just something like that. And that's how eyes are really built. And that takes you from an artist being that can do eyes okay to an artist that actually can make eyes look realistic. Okay, so that's going to be today's show, folks. I hope this has helped. I hope you found it very beneficial and very, very informative. Um, if you would like to see the end of this painting, we're actually going to stick this on for you now. But if not, have a lovely week. Take care. God bless. As always, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe where you can get all the latest news, tips, and all sorts of other stuff that you don't necessarily get on YouTube. Um, but we're going to put this together, and we're going to continue painting in speed form, so the video won't be too long. And uh, as I say, until next week, I have been your host, John Morris. Any questions you've got for me, as always, fire them to my... I'll, I'll try that again. Fire them my way <laughs> on, uh, on the box below, and, uh, and I'll catch you next week. Take care.